Hello, hello, hello. Today we are actually playing around with electricity, which is always fun. So today what we're actually doing is um, I'm actually going to be running a 240 volt um, cable in order to uh, put a uh, 15, uh, 1450 outlet, I think it is. And um, we're putting in a uh, 50 amp uh, breaker. And uh, actually this is the, uh, the box that we're uh, going into. So currently we have run a... Uh, a 6.3 cable that has uh, the three cables plus the ground and we've actually put a hole up in the ceiling to run these cables through uh, so there's a hole that was made up there one here to kind of fish it through and uh, we're gonna be in you know we're gonna end up putting this uh, 50 amp breaker there uh, so we're working on that we ran that through and uh, and it goes all the way uh, above and uh, comes out here. We're going to clean all of this up, obviously. But uh, for now, uh, that cable is coming through here and we're fishing it all the way uh, to the garage. So we're in the basement. Uh, we're going to go to the garage soon. And that's what we're going to end up doing right now. All right. So on the other side of the, on the other side of the garage, well, on the other side of upstairs I'm no longer in the basement but we have uh we have this cable coming out that's your 6-3 cable and so I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to open you know open this up and uh, this is what we're going to be using it's a let's see if it says it on here it's a 50 amp 125 or 250 volt NEMA 1450R uh, so it's a NEMA 1450 receptacle or whatever it is, but uh, yeah, it's a receptacle. And that's what we're gonna be using. So the cables are gonna go right into the here, these holes, and you're just gonna tighten them down with a screwdriver. And the way that it's set up, uh, this is your ground. So this is that bare copper. This is your neutral. And then left to right are gonna be your volt voltage, your red and black. So that's gonna be um, 120 volts, I guess. Uh, on either side. So we're going to start first with uh, red and black. Put it with this orientation. According to the instructions, that's supposed to, the ground's supposed to go on top. And you want to make sure that's really tight. All right, so they're all in there. Now it's just a matter of getting this into the box. All right, so we've put the uh, the receptacle into the box uh, using the uh, two screws here, and I'm just going to put this uh, plate on top of it. The cables are really tough to bend because they're really thick. So it took a little bit of a, of work to get them in there. But um, all this would be closed up eventually. That's just some, some drywall. So my father-in-law uh, does um, construction. So he knows how to do all this drywall. So I'm going to leave that up to him. Um, so, you know, definitely thankful was, you know, that's something that, with all the drywall, I didn't expect to have to rip up that much of it, but we ended up doing a pretty good amount. So, so that's what it looks like. I'm gonna put the plate on, and then uh, the next step would be to go downstairs and plug in the uh, breaker. All right, I'm at the box now. I'm getting ready to put the uh, the breaker in. So before, I'm gonna test with this tester to see if there's power. I guess there's definitely power because I haven't cut anything off. So eventually, I'm gonna cut off the main breaker. I don't think there's a main breaker outside the house, so we're going to be cutting this off. So that tells me there's power coming to it. And we're going to be turning it off. 
All right, so we're gonna run these cables. I'm gonna cut the main power off now. And I'm gonna test the power. All this is out. This still has power, so I gotta be careful with this. But this main bar here has no power, so these are all good. So I'm gonna run this down. This needs to go into one of these. All right, so we now have the uh, red cable, black cable is a hot wire. We have the ground. These two are together. These are the neutral and the ground. They're all on the same bar or bus. So I've actually put that on the back where the ground is. Now we're just gonna clip this in and we should be good to go. We got everything plugged in. This is our 50 amp. It's gonna be in an off position. Got a hot 120 volts. I got the uh, ground where's the ground ground's coming here going right into the bus so this is the ground for my cable and then i have the neutral coming down the white and it's going back in here into this bar back here so it's underneath this screw right here so everything's there we're going to turn this back on and so far no fires awesome all right so i can take my headlamp off so everything looks like it's in order you know we have power now so we're going to turn this on okay so the uh, power has been turned on now um so this should be live what we're going to do now is we're using a voltmeter and i'm just going to be checking the uh, voltage to make sure everything is okay so i'm just going to put that um right there to check voltage. And we're gonna use these uh, probes to come into here. And first I'm, I'm, I'm gonna start by, doesn't matter which one you put in, red or black. I'm gonna put one in, let's see, that's in there. There's a certain spot where it grabs. So once it's in there, then you can read the, the voltage. So I'm reading 240, so that's working the way it's supposed to. It's 120 on each side, and this actually will, with a breaker, 50 amp, it'll add them together to create 240 volts. Um, the other thing that you want to do is you want to you want to test out to make sure the other cables, um, I mean the other wires are are correct and that they're ground. So we're going to put this to the uh, neutral, and that should give me 120, and that's what we're at 122. So anywhere under 120 is is good. And then we're going to switch it over to the other side and make sure the other one, you know, well, we should know. I mean, I just kind of test to make sure the neutral is connected correctly. And then from there, we'll go to the ground. The ground with the probe is a little bit more difficult because it uh, doesn't go, you know, doesn't clip in like the other ones. And there you go, 122. And... Uh, should be the same on the other side. 122. So we're good. The connections are good. And uh, what we'll do now is we'll go ahead and we'll plug in our, our mobile charger. And we will get a light. So it is charging correctly and that's what we use to plug into the tesla all right so i plugged in with the now with a 240 volts and uh it's telling me 26 miles an hour 40 amps and uh it's probably gonna say 25 on this one for some reason um the screen says 25 but the actual on the dash here on the instrument panel it says 20 well, actually it says 25 now but um, so that's what it's supposed to be. That's a mobile charger. 
Um, so I'm getting 25 to 26. Hey, not bad. Uh, much better than the three miles per hour that I was getting before. So that's been my experience installing a char a 240 40 volt charger. All right, so that's going to do it today for a video on how to install a 240 volt outlet. Uh, my car's talking to me. I guess it wants me to go drive it. So, anyways, um, just want to say thank you. You know, hopefully it helps you out. Um, I just want to reiterate, I am not a licensed electrician or a professional electrician. I just um, I just play one on YouTube. So uh, don't do this at home. Uh, don't do this anywhere. Um, I, you know, I, I had a licensed electrician that's a buddy of mine that kind of walked me through it. Um, my father-in-law is also in construction. He's done a lot of work. Um, he does electrical also. So I had a lot of guidance for this. Um, I didn't do anything without first being, uh, you know, you know, it's not something that I've done before, but um, I wouldn't recommend anybody do this uh, because you it is risky. You could definitely, you know, lose your life uh, playing with uh, this high voltage, uh, you know, these high voltage wires. So I definitely recommend that you hire an electrician or if you have a, a friend or a family member that is an electrician to, to help you out. But, uh, you know, the main thing is just to show you the process, how it works. Um, the differences between charging with a 120 volt and a 240 volt. And it's a huge difference, you know, it's a difference between three miles an hour charging to 25 miles an hour. So that's gonna be my video for today. And I hope you enjoyed it. And uh, if you haven't already subscribed, just go ahead and subscribe, hit the like button and comment. Um, let me know anything that I saw that you saw that I did wrong. Uh, let me know so that uh, nothing catches on fire later on. Uh, I should be okay, but uh, I just want to thank you all for watching, and you all take care.